I've used this ozone generator in mixed circumstances and gotten very mixed results. The main claim of these things is that they should eliminate mold and mildew smells. So today we're gonna to put that to the test. I've got a box here with a glass front and I've got a hole cut in this one end that perfectly receives the intake fan of the ozone generator here. So I can set that in place with the fan just sticking out the back. I'll go ahead and plug that in. Then here I have some tool bags, some carpenter's bags. I've got two of them, they're kind of a, a set. And I, I've had these for quite a while and I think I found them maybe in a basement or a, a storage locker or something that you know they didn't have great ventilation. And so they've just got kind of a musty smell to them. I could try bleach, but I don't really wanna you know, fade the color of them if I don't have to, or some other detergent. But I figured, hey, ozone makes a claim to fix this sort of thing. So let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna stick both of these in here. I've got my ozone generator in there already, and then the leather belt that came with this set. Again, it smells a little like the leather, but also has kind of a musty smell to it. So I'm gonna just you know, see, uh, see what this will do. So I'll just lay this in here. I've heard different people say that ozone can degrade leather. So I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I guess we're gonna find out today, right? So we've got that in there, I can close my lid. And at the top here, I've got built into this box about a quarter inch gap above the glass there so the air can, can flow in through the ozone generator and flow out. And then uh, we'll just turn this on. It's got a timer function, but I just bypass the timer and just turn it on the whole way. It's uh, just about 10 o'clock right now in the morning. So let's give this, uh, give this eight or 10 hours. Let's come back after supper tonight and uh, give these a sniff. Maybe we'll end up running it overnight. Uh, it's about 65% humidity out today, which is a little bit on the high side. They say this particular type of ozone generator called the Corona Discharge type, uh, they don't like high humidity. So uh, that may factor in, but anyhow, let's give it a couple hours, 10 hours or so and come back and see how it's doing. So this thing's been running all day. It's about 7.30 in the evening now. Let's turn it off and see uh, what effect it's had. No matter what, we know it's gonna smell like ozone. So let's take our box fan for a couple minutes. I'm just gonna set it in here on top of the box. Just leave those tool bags in there. I'm just gonna plug this in. Let's make sure this thing's on high. I'm just gonna give that a quick uh, five or ten minutes, let, uh, let all the ozone stink get out of there and then we'll see what they smell like. <clears throat> Man, I don't know. These, they smell a lot better. I don't know whether to say they're, uh, they're fixed or not. Um, before they were bad enough that I, I never really even used them just because they, they smelled so bad. Yeah, there's a little something there, at least in this one still. I think, uh, I don't know, I think I might give them a, a good washing. Um, or should I do, uh, should I do that ozone generator again? Tell you what, I think I'm gonna change the plate in the ozone generator. Um, there's a plate in there that will wear out. I'll link a video card to how that works and how to do it, that sort of thing. But I'm gonna go and change the plate in this and run it overnight, so that'll be 12 hours or so, um, and see how they do in the morning. I think they'll be, I think they'll be a little bit better. There's already a huge improvement. I think I'm going to leave the leather belt out, however, overnight, and just uh, run it with these two in. So let's try that, and we'll see you in the morning. So it's been another 12 hours or so. As I said last night, I swapped out the plate in the ozone generator. Let's just give this thing another airing out. Throw that fan on there. We'll give it about 10 minutes here. Get plenty of good fresh air in there. So this fan's been running long enough now. We can turn that off, see what we have to work with. Now I did end up sticking this belt back in. Hmm, almost smells worse than it did last night. It was starting to smell pretty good last night. I don't know what that's about. So here's the bag that was closest to the ozone generator. No significant change. Still just smells kind of stale and musty. Is that the material, uh, just old you know, nylon material breaking down? Is it this nylon material after it's been exposed to ozone? 
and breaking down from that maybe. Ugh. This just doesn't really smell good at all. Well, this is a disappointment. Ozone is kind of touted as the miracle gas, so to speak. And I've even kind of touted it as <clears throat> working pretty well. Um, I've never used it on something like this. The key to ozone is when you're using it, you have to get a shock treatment. That's a really high concentration in a small area. Well, I'm not sure how much smaller of an area you could get with than this, or how much higher of a concentration uh, than using you know the ozone generator in the way that we did. So this gives me reason to doubt the effectiveness of ozone. Maybe maybe if we try a different kind of generator, they have ozone generators that run off of a UV light technology, similar to what your water treatment system runs off of. So maybe that would do better, I don't know. So let me know in the comments what you think the solution is. If you think there's something wrong with the ozone generator, if I can redo the experiment in a better way, I'd be really curious to uh, find a solution that works. So if you enjoy learning how the world works, maybe how to fix it when it doesn't, hit subscribe, tap that bell to be notified for future uploads. We'll see you next time.